10 Easy Ways to Train a New Puppy If you really adore your puppy, but his barking, chewing, and incorrect behaviors are driving you crazy, there's no need to despair. Not everyone has the resources to get their puppies professionally house-trained, but luckily, there are lots of things you can do at home to get the job done. To ensure you aren't left at the end of your rope, or a leash, keep watching to learn the do's and don'ts of puppy training. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the bright side of life. Number 10. Don't yell at the puppy. It can be hard to stay calm when your puppy has chewed through the cables of your laptop or won't stop barking, and it usually happens when you need to finish a work assignment at home or just want some peace and quiet. If you yell, you risk damaging the precious bond you have with your puppy. Dogs are very in tune with humans, so an increase in your tone of voice could stress him out and make him more anxious. Ironically, it could have the opposite effect you intended, making him more excited about the situation. He could understand that barking is good, since you are barking too. Number 9. Do be firm. The big puppy dog eyes looking up at you might deter you from saying anything to your puppy when he misbehaves. However, to teach him good behavior, you need to be firm. Puppies need a leader of the pack, and if they see you as too easygoing or flexible, they won't be motivated to learn to behave better. That's why it's important to use a stern voice if you're trying to reprimand them. But without yelling. The puppy will be mindful of your tone of voice and see you as an authority figure. The best thing to do is speak to the puppy with a simple word he understands. Next time your puppy's trying to climb the couch, just give him a firm no. Number 8. Don't get physical. Using or threatening pain are never good ways to house train your puppy. These behaviors only teach dogs to fear their owners and to lose the natural trust they have in you. Even if you don't physically harm your puppy, the use of a shock collar also teaches them to respond in fear. Threatening pain by stomping your foot close to the puppy sends him a direct message that you should be perceived as a threat. Keep your bond with your puppy strong and healthy by avoiding getting physical at all costs. Number 7. Do give your puppy a timeout. A timeout is a great technique to teach your puppy to stop doing something annoying or aggressive. Next time your puppy's raucous barking is driving you over the edge, or you catch him being too rough with another pet, simply put him in a dog crate or take him to a location he'll find boring. This could be a bathroom or bedroom. Just make sure the location is safe. The puppy should stay there for two to three minutes, no longer than that. Every time he misbehaves, say the words, time out to the puppy and place him in the same place. In this way, he'll understand that bad behaviors lead to being away from toys and people. Number 6. Don't stare down at your puppy. If you were speaking to a child who'd misbehaved, eye contact would be important to emphasize the seriousness of the situation. But to a dog, direct and prolonged staring can be threatening, so it's not an effective method to educate him. Your puppy can look at your eyes when he expects a treat, when he's waiting for food, or when he wants to go for a walk. But if you stare, your puppy can get uncomfortable just as humans do. In this case, you can expect him to bring his body close to the ground, look away, and do everything he can to disengage from you because he will see you as intimidating. Staring makes the lesson you're trying to impart much more difficult for the puppy to receive. Number 5. Do Address Biting and Nipping According to Caesar's Way, the website for the famous dog whisperer Caesar Milan, a good technique to stop your puppy from nibbling or biting can be to respond with a dog's yelp. 
When a puppy plays with other puppies and it bites too hard, the other dog will yelp, which causes the biter to release the bite. If a puppy bites you, you can recreate this yelp to teach him that it's not okay. Another technique is to give the puppy a chew toy when you see he intends to bite you. This will show him which things are okay to bite and which things aren't. Number 4. Don't expect your puppy to know where to go potty. A puppy needs a very strict routine to become potty trained. A dog's digestive system can be very regular, and they tend to need to relieve themselves 5 to 30 minutes after eating. If your schedule looks a bit hectic, your puppy eats at different times of the day, or you can't walk him at regular times, you can expect to find a smelly mess when you get home from time to time. As an owner, you'll need to establish a very strict routine for when your puppy eats and when you take him out for walks. Number 3. Do be consistent. If yesterday you gave your puppy a timeout for unnecessary barking and today you're letting it slide, the puppy will get mixed signals and won't learn to correct the behavior. Common examples include letting your dog sleep on your bed on some days but not on others, letting him scratch the dining table on occasion, letting him bark at the doorbell some of the time, and letting him chew on some inappropriate objects but not on others. That level of inconsistency will cause the puppy to become confused about the boundaries he needs to respect. Therefore, being consistent is important even if it's tiring at first. The good news is that with discipline, the puppy will learn really fast, usually within four to six months. In that time, most puppies will differentiate between right and wrong and become house trained. Number 2. Don't reprimand long after the offense. If you come home to discover that your darling puppy knocked over a precious vase and you try to reprimand him for something he did an hour ago, the puppy will have no idea why he's being admonished. You need to punish a behavior when you catch him doing it. That is the only way the puppy will connect the bad behavior to the admonition. If you're watching TV when the puppy begins to chew your shoe, it might look adorable, yes? But gently moving him away or moving your foot out of the way will teach him not to chew on shoes in the future. The key is to reprimand in the moment. Number 1. Do educate and reward your puppy. Puppies need to learn when they misbehave and when they do things properly. For a puppy to understand not only bad things, but good ones, it's necessary to educate with this two-fold approach. If your puppy stopped chewing on the cushion when you told him no, then it's time for a treat. If your puppy calmed down after getting a timeout, he deserves a reward. If the puppy finally learned to go potty in the backyard, tell him what a good job he did. Just remember to reward actions immediately after the puppy makes them. Now, he will associate good behavior with a reward. Puppies can present quite a lot of challenges to new pet owners, or even to experienced pet owners, since every puppy comes with their own set of behaviors and personality traits. Despite a bit of mischief, puppies can be a great addition to your family and will be trained in no time if you follow these recommendations. If you've tried these tips for a few months and your puppy still insists on making a wreck of your home, talk to your veterinarian as they might be able to recommend a professional trainer or training class. So tell us, Brightsiders, what is the hardest challenge in training your puppy? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side.